ENC understands that students at the Durban University of Technology are being asked to vacate the campus. It appears some members of the SRC are protesting about funding. Our reporter, Leti Wimjula, is there this hour, joining us now live to give us the latest. Leti uh, good afternoon. What's happening right now there at the DUT campus? Well, but then we've been told that a bunch of students earlier on this morning actually embarked on a protest inside the Steve Bigo campus. And this, of course, was over a NESFA's problems. Some of the students that I've been able to speak to who are standing outside the Steve Bigo campus this afternoon are telling me that some students have not been able to receive their NESFA's allowances since the beginning of this year. As we know that NESFA's recently opened their applications, those who have applied are also saying that they have a lot of problems um, when it comes to applying. But I'm just going to speak to one of the students that was here earlier on when all of this was happening. Um, Sobon Abuti, yeah. can you please just tell me what exactly happened this morning? No, we intend to really listen because we are led by e Student Command, which is EFF. So it's been many times since June speaking the issue that some of us don't get our allowances late NASFAS applications, are waiting NSFAS, and many issues that are happening around the school. But they've been avoiding those issues to an extent that even students went to financial aid to try and get information. But they closed offices, the, the management and the ESFs closed the offices and decided to shut them down. We went to finance departments last week. We tried talking to them there. We, we were not given answers. And so students decided to embark on strikes today, whereby they say that they're taking things to themselves because they're sick and tired of being played by the DUT and the management that is leading. So we've seen the violent protests that actually happened, in, and we understand that a building was burned. What happened during that time? Uh, what happened uh, that is circulating is that they went to Amos Sarton Library, uh, where they threw down the books. When we, come, when we came to the site, we saw that some students were running away, evacuating from the East Block, where there seemed to be like there was fire and stuff, so they were running away from that. Uh, some couldn't write their test that they had to have on campus. Um, I, for one, I had, because I'm doing photography, I had to go to studio. We couldn't go to studio. We couldn't use the library for assignments, so they're setting us back on a lot of things, yeah. as much as there are issues and we want them to be resolved. But as students, we are also crying because the academic year is going to be extended and causes a lot of problem for us. Mm. Yes. So you were telling me about the fact that you have not been able to receive your allowances. How many students are affected, if you know, and what are you currently, how are you surviving, basically? Um, I would say there's 200 plus students that haven't received their allowances. And for us to go back each and every day, go to our parents and say, we're suffering at risk, we don't have something to eat, it's a constant pain to us because some of us we're not financially stable from our backgrounds we don't have the right finance that can fund us so if the institution doesn't find a way to provide like other institutions because we see UKZA and MUT and other institutions that they got allowances after they were coded by NSFS so that is the question that we have Guti. why aren't we getting allowances because we are coded we saw some people getting 2000 20,000, 18,000 that are late NSFS applicants, but when you ask about those people, they do not have answers that they can provide for us. In terms of the damage that you saw inside, what, what kind of damage is there and has anyone been injured? Uh, I wouldn't say that anybody has been injured because they were able to get the students out effectively uh, when the fire started and we saw that the fire department came in to deal with the fire as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, but then that's one of the students that was here earlier on, just basically elaborating on what actually happened this morning. We understand that the campus is currently closed until um, the 10th of uh, this month, which is Wednesday. Um, there's a statement that DUT has released saying that for now, Steve Vigo, Emil Sultan and Ritson campus, which are the campuses that were affected this morning, are currently closed. Each and every student was asked to vacate the campus, and we understand that there's no one who was actually hurt during the protesting. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Leti Wim Julele, outside the Steve Biko campus at uh, the Durban University of Technology.